any hit on a mob boss always makes sensational headlines. The guys who did it, they look like male whites. All three had tan trench coats. And it's been 30 plus years since Gambino godfather Paul Castellano got whacked outside Spark Steakhouse. The rub out, not sanctioned by other mob bosses, propelled John Gotti into the role of Dapper Don. These mob hits are usually dramatic. In 1957, Albert Anastasia had settled into his barber chair for a shave at the Park Sheridan Hotel when a five-man hit squad shot him dead. In 1971, Joe Colombo was shot and paralyzed during an Italian-American rally in Columbus Circle. He died seven years later. The execution of Joey Gallo at Umberto's Clam House was considered retaliation. In July 1979, Carmine Galante of the Bananos was rubbed out in the backyard of Joe and Mary's restaurant in Brooklyn, his cigar still hanging out of his mouth. Yet after Castellano and the Colombo mob wars, we didn't see much action for nearly a quarter century. John Gotti paraded himself up and down Mulberry Street, and it was one of the things that brought him down. The mob has a rule which says no more bodies in the streets. But then came 2018, when Sylvester Zatola Sr. got whacked at a McDonald's drive through in the Bronx, just months after his son survived an attempted hit outside his home. A former undercover analyzed it. He kept rolling over, and the way the guy was shooting wasn't professional. It wasn't a professional hit. The police arrested alleged Bloods gang members for the Bronx shooting in October, and there was talk that Albanian gangsters could have been fighting for gambling turf last year. But now we're talking about the whacking of a mob boss. Who sanctioned that?